After months of trials and tribulations, war crimes, trolling, the smelliest British man that I've ever seen has responded to me. Mr. Spammel has responded to me in a long ass comment that looks like something an SJW would write to their college professor to get their fucking genders degree or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> and today I'm going to be responding to this comment. Now of course, this comment unsurprisingly is fucking retarded. So I have enlisted the help of my friend Charles to help me read this comment. This is the response. Also, I find it funny that uh, Spammel in the comment that he replied to me and that I am responding to said, if you make a video on this comment, then you have truly ran out of ideas. Wait, fuck. I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. I'm horny as fuck, man. All right, Charles, I've called upon you because my brain, I don't got enough brain cells to fucking just to try to analyze this by myself. Because mm -hmm. I'm, you see, I, I'm a bit, um retarded that's an intro <laughs> that's an intro charles spamo left a dumbass comment on my video and we i want you to read it with me because i think it'd be funny mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right so let's start off with the basically let's just read off the beginning what he says read correcting it. your oh, okay. many you want to read out of context and in incorrect points pin this to show you are open to criticism z-man if you make a video on this comment then you truly have ran out of ideas. This is the only thing even close to response you will ever get. It's funny that he tries to preempt like a whole video. He's like, you have ran out of ideas. If you make a video on this comment, if you make is a video, it, doesn't on he have a whole chat? Me? And uh, doesn't he have a whole chat in his Discord where he asks for video ideas? Can we do I research have... right now? Can we do live <laughs> research? Hold on. There is a suggestion. I'm looking right now. There is a suggestions chat. So you can suggest. I swear, just, someone, I, someone that's kind of. I'm not gonna. Do, I'm not gonna. I'll just fucking. I'll just say balls. No, 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 no. Say, say, responding to Z-Man. No, you're no. I talked recently with someone fairly close to Spammel. Like they talk decently, right? And um, he said that he's out of ideas. So I was right. Well, yeah, I, I... I'm not, I'm not really like, uh, well, we'll get into the next point. But basically, before we move on, literally this point right here about, about making a video because you have ran out of ideas. Like, he, he is trying to preempt you and trying to put a stop to you making a video on this, even though he was responding. I mean, this is funny because like, <laughs> he really is trying to make sure that another video doesn't happen on him, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay, the next well, point, gonna that, the, real, the real point that he makes, next one. I ran out of video ideas. You're legit making a video on me and making a video, and I upload more than you. This statement makes no sense. Almost all your channel views come from you talking about other people. That's not even, people's that's videos. not a fair comparison, because he has an editor. Spamel hired an editor, I'm pretty sure, recently. And that, and his videos don't take as nearly as much effort as my videos take to record. That and I have, like, a job and a life, so that also adds on to... <laughs> <laughs> to being me not uploading as much, I could put together a video that Mr. Spam would make. Like, I could go on the devlog post, right, or whatever. I could go on, like, the blog posts. I could go on the unturned forums, just pick something, read it off in audacity, and then I go in unturned, film, like, 10 minutes of me just moving my character around to, like, me talking or something, and that's the video. I could do that in, like, an hour, maybe, like, yeah. an hour and a half. It's super easy. So that's how he does it every day. Because think about this. Let's say at maximum it takes for Mr. Spammel to make his videos. Now I'm talking more about his, um, I mean, I'm sure his newer stuff may take a little longer because he has to send it to an editor, but it's still probably at max four hours of work. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. But before when he was just spamming out videos and that's how he got so big because he uploaded every day. I, I swear it probably only took him like at max two hours to make a video and then edit it together, put the shitty non copyright music in the video, upload it. And that's how you get fucking views, boy. Have you video. seen my, you watch my shit. You know, it's like, I mean, it, yeah. it takes, it takes a while. Sometimes well it'll edited. take like a week, well, a week. Better edited than Spamel's videos. I mean, even Spamel said that. Even Spamel said that. Spamel said that, you know, that your Wait, videos what are he well said? edited. He said I think I, he said, he said something around those lines a while ago. Where? I don't know, somewhere. He said somewhere that he, that, that you did good at anything. I think the majority of people who dislike you at least give you the credit of saying that you got good editing, which th that's all they'll give. <laughs> that's the only credit I'll ever get. Uh, but yeah, um, 
I don't know why he's making the video when he's literally bandwagoned on like two different topics. He's bandwagoned on the whole P9 leaving situation. He bandwagoned on the Man on Man uh, video that was recently posted. So, I mean, it's and, now, like... and he bandwagoned on the whole trend that Unturned is dead. Yeah, he's been trending. He's literally been like um, jumping on that all the time. But we'll talk about that later because that's, that's also something I want to bring up later. 4.0 is still coming out. It has been six months, 207 days since an Unturned 4 devlog. They actually added something new, but in the that time, Unturned 3 has had a surprising amount of updates with more focus for whatever reason. Thing is, these points kind of apply to both. I'm not really ex expecting most of these things to change, but I do want to talk about some of the purely gameplay related issues so that Nelson knows what to do for 4 3. The problem is a lot of the stuff he was saying has Nelson already knows and has already done. Yeah, like literally Nelson. Same with the Man o Man yeah. video as well. Like the whole like I think Man o Man the movement thing where you can jump around like and change your momentum in midair. Yeah, that was literally addressed. In that was addressed before. like a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, literally years ago. And then the whole uh, advanced AI thing that Spamble made, that's already a thing in Unturned 2. There's more it's better already, AI yeah. as opposed it's a, like things that you've already talked about that everybody has talked about in the community have already been things on Nelson's like Trello page mm -hmm. or just Nelson has already been implementing over the years. And I, I don't I don't know anything about game design. I don't know anything about how to program or anything like that. I don't believe that you do either, Stamo. But I don't know if you I don't know if you have the right to really say that, you know, that the game has been coming like basically taking a while to come out. I don't I mean, know it has, what the deal but... is. I mean, yes, it has, but I don't know the full programming side of it. I don't know what is necessary. I mean for he it. has to he has to simultaneously learn a whole new engine to program the game and yeah, make yeah, the game. True. I mean it's been six months. Maybe he's maybe he's working on a huge devlog and that's why it's taken so long. Of course he has updated for, but that's because there's been a lot of created updates that have come out. Exactly. And I mean the majority of the time uh, even even Nelson has said like um that he doesn't want to just focus like dead on on one thing. He wants to be able to be uh free and be able to, you know, either switch from three or like switch from four and still develop four or do something else completely different that's like behind the scenes and I, I think you should be able to give that you know that credence to nelson because at the end of the day this is still his game and at, he doesn't hold any accountability like you don't really have to hold him to the like the level that like a triple a game company is because nelson is just literally one guy and really he can do whatever he wants he doesn't really have to really listen to any of us <laughs> if he wants to do either or and i'm fine with he that he doesn't have to listen to us but he does and that's why he's a he good does. Game developer. yeah that's why he's also a good de game developer because he does listen to us but i think it's just unfair to say that you know to hate on him or dislike the idea, idea that he does other things besides just working on four because he's a, still a free man he's still you know a guy that wants to work on the game so i just think that this point's kind of down yeah. the game bans all uh, right i'll you actually you, you want to read it I'll, I'll i won't read it but i will explain like because there is one part i want you to narrate on but with the whole um i said that he had 800 hours in the game apparently i was wrong because i guess mr spammel has like five fucking accounts or some shit and uh he has one called mr spammel rp so he has 2002 still not as much as me or doug or you but yeah. I, w I was wrong about that. However, I mean, he plays RP, so that's just throwing hours away anyway. So I don't even know what we should count. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Actually, I'm not. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding, but I'm not because it's kind of true. All right, but with the Battle Egg game glitch, you have a thing. I'm going to let you say that. Now, let me just disclaimer right now before Charles says anything. I don't know if it's true. I think it's true because I believe Charles, but uh, just take this next bit with a t tiny grain of salt. But Charles, go ahead. Speak your okay. piece. Okay. So on August 20 29th, 2017, Spamel's main account got banned by BattleEye. And Spamel responded with a video basically saying that he was banned from Unturned. And he did an update video directly after that video, uh, basically saying that he's in a state permanently banned. And to this day, he is still banned on his main account. Now, Spamel said in this, in this, um, this point here, if you did any research, you would have found out that I was hit with a battle eye glitch. Keep that in mind. He says a battle eye glitch during the ban wave when it first came out. Still not exactly sure why did this say. I did have a vi file from videos called Undern Hacker. I currently use an account called Mr. Spamel RP and has about 1,350 hours. Then add it with my 850 original. You can see I actually have 2,000 hours. Um, 
But something interesting is not about the hours. I mean, the hours are pretty average for like people who are in the community and talk about intern. That's a pretty average number, in my opinion. But something interesting is that he says he was hit with the battle light glitch. Now, a while ago, back in 2017 and like around 2018, like late 2017, I was told by a group of people, which I will not name, they were involved in some pretty nefarious things when it came to Unturned. They told me the reason why um, Famo was banned is because he did download a hack onto Unturned and um, was using it to test and see what, what, what was going on with the hack. A lot of people, and I believed at the time, because a lot of people uh, that I knew that were in the staffing um, area when it came to Unturn were doing the exact same thing to see what these hacks were had so they can better detect them. A lot of people were uh, were checking these hacks out, looking at what they can do and what they can't do, so they knew what to look out for because no one else was telling them what to look out for. It was literally every man for themselves, and everyone had to do this. And I, and I was told that Spamel did the same thing. Um, and something interesting to note is I still personally believe that that's the case because um, Liam Dis Games was banned twice from Unturned by Battle Eye, and both times it was both a glitch and bug, and immediately got reverted. Um, after a, oh, but yeah, like but Spamel didn't get reverted on his on his Spamel, other account. Yeah, Spamel is the only person that has not been reverted. So keep that with in mind that Battle Eye has um undone undone bans. For people in the community who didn't do anything wrong, you also get like the Liam Battle Eye Halo as well. When yeah, you... you get the Halo now um, if you have this problem. And Spammo has not been unbanned by Battle Eye. And I believe that on he's his other tried. Account. And I believe that he's tried to get unbanned. And Battle Eye told him no because he did do something nefarious, which was download hacks for Unturned. I know, um, and from what I see, is that Mr. Spammo had a ban. In 2017 of August 29th, and it has not been reverted. Unlike people like Liam, who had been banned by Battle Light unfairly and got reverted. So that's something to note. Spam has not get uh, unreverted when it comes to his ban. So anyway, I'm staying on this point too long, and I've been repeating myself. Okay. Um, All right. The let's next get thing... to the next one. Yeah. Players okay. versus zombie, which is more fun to fight. This one's dumb. I read this already. I've read some of this. This one's dumb. He um, says 1.0 had more advanced zombies than on turn 3. That's just not true. The only reason he's saying that is because I think the zombies would never stop following you around. And they would spawn, like, like they'd spawn on you or something? I'm pretty sure that's the case, actually. I mean, and even that, like, I feel like, um... But I'll let you read it. You read it, and then, because we should read it. Oh, all yeah, let, yeah let's read this. Um, you seem to be unable to criticize Unturned. The real problem is that... Wait, hold up. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Wait, I don't get that statement. You seem unable to criticize Unturned. I have. <laughs> I literally have. Have you seen the problems with Unturned? I criticize it then. I've criticized it many times in my videos. Sometimes it's satirical. Sometimes it's, it's not, right? I have criticized the game. Am I wrong? Huh? Yeah, you have, and I, I, don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what the point is here as well. I mean... All right, but I yeah, I'll let you continue. Sorry for, sorry for interrupting. Yeah, it's fine. Um, they could be massively improved. I mean, even on turn 1.0, I had more advanced zombies. Also, I never mentioned difficulty, fun to fight. Does not mean difficult. You have completely taken me out of context. I like the easy zombies in Dying Light because they are fun, and I can mess around with the, the physics. I mean, I don't know. You, you, the, from what I remember... Uh, Spamel said from this this uh, thing, he said, "What is more fun to fight, player or a zombie?" And I mean, I, I mean, uh, and then he made the said, said he said, nine nine percent of people would say the player." And um, I mean, yeah, the player is just more fun to play uh, to like fight against because it's random. You never know who you're gonna fight against when it comes to Unturn. You never know who you're gonna fight like a guy with like, you know, one point one hours in Unturn, or you're gonna fight a guy with like seven k. I think that's also a fun part about Unturn is that the majority of the time it's just random. Um, when it comes to like uh, combat, when it comes to combat, it's kind of like random. Where you, it's like a mixed bag, and that's kind of fun to me personally. This is from my personal experience. But like zombies, even in like games that are like that, uh, like Arbra, let's say like Dying Light, the example he put, which was a, in my opinion, I'll, I'll get into that, but like that was not a good choice of a of a type of you know thing. I mean, zombies have a set code 
of what they run on and you know i think i think before um the new zombies were added i think zombies were kind of stale but like since the new zombies have been added it's kind of it's been kind of more difficult some people more thought to, some people thought the new zombies were actually just annoying yeah i mean yeah it just because it added a little bit more difficulty i can uh, see i think but... the the primary thing what he was saying was that the zombies needed to be improved but the thing is is that nelson clearly knows that so the whole like the i like i don't know it's just the the point of my video is just to say that we need to stop beating this dead horse that oh no unturned needs to be fixed like the guy knows nelson knows that it needs to be fixed he watches every video that criticizes unturned he knows what needs to be fixed so yeah, just yeah, continuously right. repeating it is putting the release date of 4.0 further and further away the the longer he has to waste his time watching shit that he's already heard before so that was like the whole point i think that point just went over his head because he think i think he thinks this is like just another hit piece again yeah Oh, yeah, Which, yeah, you're correct. You're completely correct. Like, zombies have been massively overhauled in Unturned 2.0. Uh, well, Unturned 2, my bad. Um, so, I mean, yeah, again, it's like a point that's already been dealt with. Um, let's go on to the next point, because I don't think I'm going to stick on this one. More if people play even... Unturned than Dying Light. Um, basically, what he just says is because Unturned is a free game. That's why more people play it. But, but then again, more like... people play a lot of games that are you have to pay for unturned is unturned is free if we use this logic right for this point that he's made which I'll, I'll i'll read it he said i mean do i even have to answer this one unturned is a free to play game the numbers should not even be close but they are of course more people play unturned it's free well yeah well more people play rust and that's like 40 bucks more people play a lot of games that are that cost money minecraft costs money to play it's not free and it's like the most played game on the planet it's not free you have to pay for it so if you use that logic unturned should like have like two hundred thousand players but it doesn't now yeah i completely agree it's like it's not a fair comparison to, to say to specifically say that the uh, whole comparison is like though my main point was He's saying the zo dying light. I it felt like he was saying dying light was just better than unturned, or the zombies were. But yeah. Um, and but like more people play unturned, so clearly Nelson's doing something right because he gets more players than an entire like Triple game, game studio. <laughs> yeah, basically. I mean, that really does show like the level of Nelson like has done for the game to a certain degree that he's able to compete with AAA company games. I mean. I, I I mean I don't know the, this whole point about like dying light you know it's a free whatever doesn't really matter I mean it's kind of rough I'm being honest with you but I mean yeah um that's basically I, I think that's basically the main point is just like that was a dumb comparison because a lot of games that aren't free have a lot of players a lot more players than games that are and they have worse zombie AI all right the next point uh, vanilla, vanilla is, is shit yeah. and ass. Yeah. Wait, what? He had what to put he had to put you? quotes he had to put quotes <laughs> around it because he doesn't swear. That's not even what I said. I said vanilla is shit. It's ass. I didn't say and ass, but whatever. That doesn't matter. What was the point of in hating on me for pointing out the issues if you basically agree with the entire premise of the video? You make no sense. I agreed with the premises of Man on Man's video. Some of them, kind of. I get like the whole like the crafting system needs to be fixed. I don't think Unturned should copy Rust to fix it i'm sure nelson could find another way to do it i didn't really agree with many of the premises of mr spammel's video okay well mr spammel said has just repeated a bunch of shit that other people have said so i kind of agree with the points but i don't agree with him just beating a dead horse that's what i'm saying mm -hmm. i don't really give a shit about your video i just like think you're beating a dead horse like oh unturned needs to be fixed he's you're like he's bandwagoning because this is what mr spammel does he jumps on bandwagons every time there's some form of bandwagon and unturned he jumps on it for views let's say zumbi came back right actually no let's say the zumbi video where he criticized unturned like that massive video where he got an interview with nelson let's say that was released today and then mr spammel jumped on the bandwagon some would think oh well we should support him then but i'd be like I don't support him on any bandwagon he jumps on, whether the bandwagon is good or bad, right? He could be completely right with his points, but if you're just ripping points from someone else and re-uploading them, that's just 
it's silly. I mean, yeah, I, I completely agree, and that kind of leads into the the kind of the next uh, point he made that he's not a leech. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. That's the next point. I'm a leech. You've made so. First of all, he says you have made so many videos talking about other people, and basically none of your own. So I don't know what this means. I I, I like, like what does this even mean? I don't. You I don't have even made know. so many videos talking about other people, and basically none of your own. Is he saying I've I basically made none of my own videos? Like, what is he even trying to say here? I don't even. This is like a weird statement. Even like what it's sounding like. I mean, and also, well, how does something else? And I, how I is me think... talking about other people? Which, by the way, also he says here. He says, "How about you get make some more original content like your Q8 video and stop using my name and many others for views." See, I don't understand what he's mean. I don't know what he means. So I think he's referencing the P. I think he's talking about P9, the P9 video, even, and like, then me talking like, about him. And Brad, yeah. I, I okay, so part, right? no, uh, wait. Let me let me just say. Yeah, go ahead. He's being a hypocrite right here, cause he has made so many videos where he's just he's like where he puts other people's names in the titles or in the tags, like the P9 to like when he left. Yeah, he fucking made a video about it and put it in the tags. He's made a lot of videos about the community. He did, like, a video where he does impressions of unturned YouTubers. That's clearly just a grab for views. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do this really bad impression of me like Big Boom. Let me put it, me like Big Boom in the tags or in the thumbnail. Like, you would, I would say, I will say, he maybe would have a point here, but because he has also done it himself, it completely invalidates his argument because he's also done it and he's being hypocritical. It's like, let's say, like, somebody criticizes somebody else for saying the N-word, but the person criticizing the person that said the N-word has also said it. Their argument is invalidated because they've also done that. Weird example. That's I'm, I'm referencing something. I'm referencing... Uh, you remember when, like, H3H3 got mad yeah, at someone was... for saying the N-word, but he said the N-word on his podcast? Yeah, he was. So people yeah. got mad at him? He, he made fun of PewDiePie. He was, like, basically stating everything that he did on a podcast originally with iDubs. Yeah, I, I know I know what you're talking about, and that's kind of the... Yeah, it, kind of the same thing. Um, Along with this point, he basically says here, basically, uh, you have made so many videos talking about other people and basically... How is that on original, by the way? But, 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 but he directly says directly after, uh, make some more original content like your Kuwait video. So it's basically the basically none of your own uh, comment that he made completely invalidated by the fact that he said content like your Kuwait video. Like, this, this whole point... I mean, I appreciate that he, that that he thinks my Kuwait video is original. <laughs> But like, but like, he's basically, he said basically none of your own. He's talking about like your content. You have none of your own videos, even though he literally stated a video in this, in this exact next sentence of a video that you made like completely based on your own server. I mean, this, that entire point was invalidated by the next sentence that he just stated. It, it, oh my God. It's like, it's ridiculous. I, I don't get why he didn't catch that or like he didn't think that way. I think there's a clear distinction between commentating over something which spamo has done he's commentated over events that have happened and turned the same way that you have and making videos on your own which is something like the kuwait video you've done or the trolling that you've done many times on your channel i don't and this whole point doesn't make any sense and on the whole point that he's a leech it, i mean it kind of is true he's bandwagoned twice already multiple times on different events that happened and turned not only that how many times has spamo made a video trying to feed into the idea that Unturn is dead in some of <laughs> people's minds. Like, you, you have a bunch of videos of you making the basically these, like, quote-unquote videos calling Unturn dead, and then completely saying, oh, never mind, I'm, I, sh I showed a screenshot with showing the player base having 26,000 players, and then basically the whole video is me saying, no, Unturn's not dead. You, you, it's all you really do is you are a leech. It's really you are just clickbaity click click garbage. Yeah, you're, you're a leech, bro. And this it's is not why I'm just... Unturned YouTube today is just really sad. Because we really had it, we really have had a downgrade. Because we went from kind of edgy, unturned content, which I, I mean, it's all a pro, it's all a personal preference. This is just my opinion, right? This shouldn't be seen as a fact, you know. Maybe some people like the the kind of child content that has come to unturned, like with Spamble and Elite and Fudgy, right? Where they just upload every day, 
just RP stuff, right? Maybe some yeah. people like that. I'm sure a lot of kids enjoy it. I personally don't. I know a lot of people that in the community, some people pretty high up that you wouldn't expect, they would agree with me when I say that the content for Unturned, we've seen a downgrade over the past few years. It's just stagnated to RP and raid videos, and it's just all clickbaity garbage. I mean, I would completely agree. I mean, like, Unturned content for me has really never done it. I think the only the content that I would actually enjoy is, like, trolling videos uh, because it's just it's just funny. And uh, at the end of the day, I mean, I play games for entertainment purposes. Games are for entertainment purposes, so I enjoy those. So, I mean, but yeah, th this whole point about, like, him, you being a leech spammer, like, you literally are. Don't don't try to, like, say that you're not when you literally clickbait, clickbait for views and, uh, you know, basically immediately directly after something major happens with the unturned YouTuber, you make a video on that. Um, but you won't make a video on Z-Man because I think <laughs> you don't, you won't he give, you don't want to give them to. unquote. He doesn't want to give me or views or whatever. Like, this is what they all say. Every time I make a video on someone, they always like, I'm not making a video about it because they don't want to give me views. I mean, that's a exactly. fair assessment, but I feel like it also damages them because that video is just going to sit there and you're not going to respond to it at all. Like video wise, like on a mass scale, like how I do. I mean, and yeah, it's just it, going to sit like... there and people are going to see and they're going to be like, this guy, and some people might agree with me. So like, I know that happened with the P9 video. I had like many people come to me. They're like, I had no idea that guy's kind of a dick. And then they unsubscribe. I mean, I'm, <laughs> it doesn't damage them at all. Here's the reality, right? Videos like this, they don't really damage anything, but they're just like, for me, it's like I'm giving a public service announcement. The people who are in the community and know all like are in the know about of these things, like already know some of the shit like that certain people have done in the community and your videos just kind of like accept that and it, it kind of makes sense i kind of enjoy it because it's a lot of people are like are seeing these people who they really are and now we're we're still on the whole leech topic on number eight because he's i i said that he was sponging off of man -O man because he ran out of ideas and then he said i talk about man -O man quite a lot in the video okay how does that disprove my point that you're sponging off of him yeah you can mention him all you want but you stole his points too i mean you're still just like you're still just, you watch this miss, you watch the man on man video, you're like, oh, look at this, it's an unturned thing that's going on. I need to join in because I have no upload ideas for this week. Which I feel like that's the reality. The reason he really made that video is because he needed to upload. He needed to upload. There's no I, shame. I, I mean, I've it's, done it's that. fair game. It's fair game in, in my Why opinion. Why do you think I made my video? It's literally the same. I'm not shame, like, no shame in that. But don't come to me saying that you're not a leech and that you're not sponging off of people. Because you are, right? I've sponged as well. It's there's no shame, but don't try to say you're not sponging, because it's just not true. And something interesting as well is like Spamlo, you stole some of the points that Man, Man made in this video. I made the whole point about inventory and the crafting point, which you turned into entire sections in your video. The only section in your video that was a completely your original idea was the zombies thing, and even that was kind of like already disproven by the point that 2.0 already has or like two unturned two. My bad already yeah. has advanced AI with better zombies. So I, I personally see it as, yeah, you did sponge off of Man, Man and take some of the, the same concepts that he put in his video and turn them into entire segments on your video, which, I mean, is kind of leechish in itself. So mm -hmm. um, next point. I, I, I'm sure Just a general this. point on pay to win. I don't make any money from Breads or Fee or pay to win in general, despite what you might say. I don't think I've ever said that he has specifically makes money from Brad's. I know they're associated, and I'm fairly certain Brad might be the one that's keeping Pine Hosting afloat, because who the fuck buys from Pine Hosting? Yeah, aren't, aren't they in the business relationship where it's 50-50? It's Brad and Yeah, Brad Spam, and right? Spammel both so, co-own Pine Hosting. And, and from what I know, and I am I might be getting this wrong, but I believe Brad's RP promotes Pine Hosting in they its promote, server. He's, no, yeah, Brad's RP promotes Mr. Spammel. And I'm sure they promote Pine Hosting as well. I know for a fact, if you go on Brad's RP in the chat, you can do like slash YouTube or something. And it comes up as with Mr. Spammel. So he's promoting Mr. Spammel. So, I mean, yeah, you're not making any money or anything, but you are getting some benefit for defending Brad's RP. Yeah. Um, Even though it's not necessarily, you know, for money reasons not everything is for money reasons i mean like i i know I, I mean let me say this real quick not everything is for money reasons I, I think a lot of the times when i watch your videos you always somehow circumvent to like unturn not making any money 
or like something else like that. It's kind of weird. Like not everything's about money. And uh, the whole this whole Brad, you're not getting anything from Brad RP is just untrue. He you is are getting something. Brad. You are getting you are getting at least something, and you are involved with Brad. And not everything's just about money, spam. So I, I mean, yeah. Just just to clarify, I, I find it funny. We've talked in DMs. He like blocked me now. I can't message him. I would like to talk to him and like have a voice call and actually talk with these people. But every time I fucking give them an opportunity, they always don't reply at all. Like they just don't even like I like with Brad. I should say Pussy McGee because that was the whole meme. I said if Brad doesn't respond to me in 48 hours for a call, he's Pussy McGee, and he didn't, so he's Pussy McGee, I guess. These people, I don't know why they don't want to like talk it out. Maybe it's like, like I don't want to like blow my own dick, right? But what if I'm what if I'm more right than wh how like what they're saying? What if they're saying I'm wrong? about some stuff when I'm actually right and they don't want to get in a call with me because I might prove them wrong or some shit. I don't know. Maybe they're just paranoid. Maybe they don't I, want to I get in the views. I, I, wanna, I, wanna read, I wanna read the rest of the statement that's, that Spamel said and then I wanna get into some other thoughts as well. These okay. are just some of the incorrect points I could go on all day correcting you. See, I wanna get in a call. Enough. Fine, go on all day. Go on all day and correct me. <laughs> we'll, we'll get, get in, in a we'll, call we'll, with me. Know. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me just read this. You talk about talking, uh, taking people out of context and then using tiny clips of making me sound as bad as possible. Some of because it makes for a better video. Anyone that actually knows me will tell you I'm a nice guy. I respond to fans and DMs all the time. I'm not a person you portray in your videos and do not and do actually love in turn. Nelson needs criticism. Simply dodging the problems and telling him how great he is is not the solution. If you want to hate me for no reason other than the fact you disagree with some minor points in my video, then sure, keep acting immature. I'm not going to respond again. So, okay, uh, I want to I want to say this real quick. Spamel, you're basically you're basically saying that you don't want to involve yourself anymore, which is fair. But what you're basically saying is that it doesn't matter. You try you tried to disprove these points. I mean, you really didn't. And um, and basically are saying that you're not going to respond again. And I find that very interesting. You shared the same thing uh, with Brad. During the whole um, pay to win situation, um, I will note that Brad went to a private voice call with um, with Nelson, discussed the issues with um, him imposing new rules on pay to win. And uh, went to, I think, belie I believe he went to the GitHub as well, which um, didn't have a lot of the uh, dissenting opinions as well. And interestingly enough, he did not show up for the town hall meeting with the whole community and did not show up for the the web, uh, what's it called? The forums. Did not go on the forums. Yeah, they didn't about... go on the unturned forums. They, they went on, on GitHub. Where, where a lot of people were talking about it as well. A lot of people um, were opposed. The reason they didn't go on the forums, well, even Nelson said this. It's because they were scared of getting like, a lot of backlash for going on there. Because a lot of people yeah, on the forums don't like, like Brad because they know that he's just pay to win guy. And I find it interesting that that here's here's one thing I will say. Brad did all that. Brad hid away in the chat with Nelson and with Fudgy and tried to convince Nelson to not do these changes, and went to the GitHub to go ahead and do the exact same thing. And I find it funny uh, that you know Z-Man on the other hand went out out of his way to to specifically type in this form and put his his opinions out there to everyone. Along with that, he went to the whole town hall meeting with everyone else in the community meanwhile brad sat in a private voice call by himself and i find it interesting that you're kind of pulling the same thing you're sitting here and typing up this entire essay right you're typing up this entire thing of why all these points are wrong meanwhile not willing to basically talk to z-man himself i think you could i think you could easily squash all of this if you really wanted to and by, by basically jumping in a voice call for a certain amount of time and literally just you all both of you hashing it out i don't even think that's a bad idea you don't even you don't even lose anything out of that altercation i mean i don't know why you wouldn't be opposed to that you and brad are both scared for no reason and you literally could easily you could easily defend yourself if you really wanted to but but both of you for whatever reason just hide away and don't do anything and i don't get why like you you both have the ability to come here and and say whatever you want to say to everyone but you don't and instead you hide and you just type up these essays that don't even make any sense the majority of the time and then never let's say again you don't you don't want to respond again and then respond like next video that ever made on you
Like I don't get I don't get what you're trying to gain from this. Um Yeah, I don't yeah, it's really weird. I will say Spamel has messaged me in the past. Like I've I think it was I can't recall correctly. He has told me he has messaged me like shit in the past. I, I the one thing I remember specifically he said me to stop milking something. I don't remember exactly what it was. He blocked me, so I can't view the chat anymore. But he has messaged me before. But it wasn't about him. It was about, like, Brad or something. I think when I said, um, the Brad committing tax fraud, that no that notorious claim that was made in one of my videos, he, like, he, like, messaged me about that. He said, you shouldn't claim that or something. I will say, is Brad committing tax fraud? I don't know. Now, maybe he's doing some form of loophole, but I don't think he's, like, full-on tax fraud committing. That was like, um, that video I mentioned that in, that was a collab with My Two Sicily. So I wanted to include some of his points as well. And one of his points was the tax rod bit. He sent that in. In fact, in the video, you can see the DM where he says it all. And I put it in. It wasn't my point. If I knew how taxes worked and how economics work, I wouldn't have put it in. He messaged me about that. So he has tried to message me before, but just not about him. He did block me. I know he messaged some people about me. Of course, I don't know what he said. Uh, I know one person, he did message. I actually know one person that he did message. He said he messaged me, but he wouldn't tell me what he said because Spamel told him not to tell me because he knows that I, I'm friends with him. But yeah, it's, it's just really weird how these guys go on in DMs about how I'm so wrong, but they won't come out publicly to try to disprove anything I say. It's bad PR for them because it just makes them look wrong and unwilling to come out and say that I'm, I'm right about something. Now, I'm not saying I'm right about everything because I'm clearly not right about everything. I make mistakes in the videos. That's just human nature to make mistakes. You know, I'm not right about everything. I'm sure some of the stuff I say is wrong, but the general premise of like, let's say the Brad videos, is that his server is pay to win and i think that's true i think his server is blatant pay to win garbage and it's got it got so bad and so many people reported it and reported all of just the poor the horrendous pay to win shit in on turn that nelson got involved and actually fixed it oh yeah again literally i mean sure you could be a nice guy behind the scenes you can be doing all this stuff i mean i, I think that this is in human nature of everyone like talking to their fans or whatever like i like how he thinks i hate him i don't even know this guy i don't i don't hate the person i hate what he's doing and i don't i don't like his i'm not a fan of his content i'm sure maybe he is a good guy i don't know but the thing is is that you spamo i've seen I, I i know a lot of people who are uh i mean no one really respects you and i think people don't respect you because yeah you do pretty easily easily to consume videos that are pretty easy to make and um you know, you hide, like Brad, you hide away and when you don't get actually criticized. come out and don't actually come out and talk. Like, at least I give P9 uh, credence. He came out and, like, uh, yeah, on his stream, he did, and he fucking was screaming at me for about me for six hours. He got in a call with me. I'm not a fan of P9's content. I don't really hate the guy. I mean, I'm sure he hates me. He, he definitely, like, I think he called me retarded, but I don't recall. <laughs> I'm sure he thinks that he could hate me. I don't care. One thing that did piss me, I will say this. This is kind of off topic, but I will say the one thing that pissed me off with the P9 situation, he did mention my girlfriend like just randomly or some shit. He's like, your girlfriend must be embarrassed of you. Like, don't bring her into this. She she didn't fucking do anything. Yeah. And by the way, no, she's not embarrassed. She's actually very proud of my channel. If anyone was wondering more if he was i don't know why i went off i went on a tangent there with that i'm still willing to have a call with spamble and brad if they want to have a call with me they can i'm not opposed to it i think the reason they don't want to get in a call because i said i wanted to make it a video i think it would be fu funnier if i live streamed it so people know it's not fake i don't know why if you personally spamble and brad i'm well, i'm just both of you if you personally believe that you are in the right and you have the points to basically basically go on and on like you say here and dismantle me disprove, he said he could go on all day then then literally jump into a voice call then, disprove yeah. everyone and disprove this this narrative that's being painted of you when you sit here and don't do anything this narrative of you just is it just gonna sits. stick with you forever you're gonna be sits. stuck with this narrative at least if you're gonna be here and say like you know oh i'm going forever ever. you and brad jump into a voice call you know you brad and z-man jump into a voice call uh 
I if it was Brad and fun. if it was the, both I'll of them it. at I'll the same time, then good. yeah, I want you to I want Charles to join if Brad and Spam will want to call at the same time. Even Nelson came. Even out. Nelson <laughs> was like the tax fraud thing. I don't I don't know about that. And I was like I I even said yes, I will take the L on that because I did, I did take the L on that. But look at the entire rest of that video and no no one was opposed to it except for them so if these guys are so right and they want to say i'm wrong about everything i've said and i'm wrong about them and I'll, oh they're they're nice guys we're really good guys z-man painted me as this horrible monster then prove it prove it yeah if yeah, you yeah, are that. right come and prove it come prove that you're right but yeah that was all um yeah my i gotta i gotta fucking take a shit dude like my like my like I swear I got like I think I got like colon cancer or something like my fucking. Subscribe to Kukui Charles on YouTube. I make great content. Ye All right, that's that. Jesus Christ, that is basically a podcast. <laughs> but yeah, I will say this one last time: if Mr. Spammel or Brad, I don't really give a shit, if they want to have a call and prove me wrong, then fucking do it. You can DM me, and we could set up a date, and we can do it. So yeah, with that being said, if you fucking watch this video to the end, you got issues. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I love you guys. I love. If you watch this all the way to the end, all the way through, I fucking love you. But yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually. Okay, but for real though, I'm gonna go take a shit.